It's been a couple of years since I've actually done an Ask Scott, so I'm going to do an Ask Scott today. If you've got avocado problems, Ask Scott. G'day avocado enthusiasts and welcome back to Scott Grows an Avocado Tree, or welcome to Scott Grows an Avocado Tree if this is your first time here. On this channel I like to do all kinds of things with avocado trees, and that includes answering your questions about them. I recently received a question in one of my YouTube comments that I'd like to address today. Ngidi asks, Hey Scott, I discovered something pretty cool. I arrived home and decided to eat an avocado. An excellent choice, Ngidi. And I found a seed sprouting inside with a tiny root and a few leaves. How exciting. Please could you assist me in what to do? I'm really looking forward to growing this amazing baby. Ngidi, thank you so much for your question. Yes, I can help you with this. This is not as uncommon as you might think. I have had a number of seeds do this, where you cut into an avocado and the seed has already started germinating and possibly even started growing. It's sometimes a little unnerving getting a growing tree inside your avocado, but it's absolutely fine. You can still eat the avocado, so long as you know it's not rotting, but it can be a very exciting thing to stumble upon. And in the plant world, we actually have a term for this kind of premature growth when the seeds start growing inside the fruit that it is, and that is vivipary. There are some plants that this is more likely to happen in than others. Strawberries, for example, this happens quite a lot. You won't often see them in supermarkets because they don't sell them, but if you have a strawberry patch, you may have had a strawberry that's kind of covered in little leaves because the seeds have started growing while still inside the fruit. It's also not unusual for this to happen in tomatoes and pumpkins and squashes and occasionally avocados. Though you won't often see the avocado seed growing outside the avocado itself. Seeds don't often grow inside fruit. It's not the ideal time for them to to start growing. Ideally, a seed will start growing once a fruit has decomposed or once it has been consumed by an animal and then moved somewhere else. So it is abnormal for a seed to grow inside of a fruit, but it does happen. Sometimes it's because the hormones that prevent a seed from germinating early have run out. Sometimes it's because something is overripe. Sometimes it's because the fruit wasn't properly developed. There are a number of reasons, but usually, the fruit is still okay to eat and the seeds often can still grow. So what can you do with your prematurely germinated seed? Well, you can do exactly what you would do with a regular seed. You can start growing it. Though, lucky for you, you can skip the germination process. So you could put it in water with toothpicks for it to grow, for it to grow more root, to, for it to grow bigger and then transfer it into soil. You could also just put it straight into potting mix or into soil. That would also be absolutely fine and probably would be my preference. Because it's already germinated, we can skip whatever process you may choose to usually use to germinate seeds, whether it be the plastic bag with paper towel method, whether it be in a jar, you can skip it because it's already growing. So it's quite fortuitous to find an avocado seed already growing inside an avocado because you can just get on with growing it straight away. It reduces the time needed to grow it and that's very exciting. It is unusual to find though, most avocados that you get will not have a seed growing inside of them already. Usually the seed needs some time to start outside of the fruit, but on the odd occasion, you will get one growing. Thanks for your question, Ngidi. I hope that I have been able to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and you learned something and perhaps your mind was put at ease about something. If you have ever found an avocado seed growing inside an avocado, I would love to know, and I'd also love to know what you did with it and how it went. Please leave all of your ideas and thoughts and stories in the comments below. And if you wanna see more avocado content, please feel free to subscribe to Scott Grows an Avocado Tree. My goal on this channel is to grow an avocado tree from seed to the point of bearing fruit whilst documenting the process. And along the way, I talk about all kinds of avocado things because I've learned lots and I wanna share that with you. And I also do other things with other plants that aren't avocados. Feel free to check me out on Instagram as well. I'm on there at Scott Grows and Avocado Tree. And if you just wanna see more of my videos that aren't necessarily about plants and avocados or avocado trees, you can find me on That's Pretty Cool, where I make videos about all kinds of topics that inspire in me a sense of curiosity and wonder. Oh, and I should mention, um, if you 
have a question about avocados, feel free to Google it first. There's a good chance that you'll find one of my videos about it. But if you are stuck, please feel free to send me an email. My email is in the description below. You can also send me a message on Instagram, though I may not respond to all of those because I get a lot. And a lot that I've already answered the questions though. So please feel free to yeah, search my channel or just Google because my videos often come up. Or you can always leave a comment. Thanks again, take care, and we'll see you next time. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree.